Hi everyone, just want to show you this homemade camera jib I've been working on. Now what I used for the actual base of the jib is just an old stroller. And this was an old baby stroller, it was a rocking stroller and I removed the um, rocking part out of it and I've just built a frame on the top of it. This is just wood and then I put this bearing. This is from a car. This is actually out of a Toyota and it's the whole front knuckle with the um, the bearing inside, the rotor and you can just take a look. You can actually see this is where the um, tie rod end was connected into and the bracketing for it I've just screwed it down into where there was a brake bracket on here and I've just put a couple screws into this wood uh, frame here. So you can wheel the whole thing around and move it to wherever you want to use it. And I've put a weight on the back here. This is just a counterbalance weight to uh, keep the stroller from tipping over or the whole thing from tipping over. And you can see it's very simply put together. There's no welds, so if anyone wants to try to build one of these things, um, I did not weld anything. I do weld, but I just decide not to weld this to make it easier for people to actually put this together. So all the tubing is from a carport, and you can just see from this end on is all the leftover carport pieces. And you can actually find these uh, pieces of pipe really easily. People throw these uh, old carports out after they collapse from snow load. So you can pick those up pretty easily. And then I've just added in for extra length a piece of galvanized. This was just uh, fencing tubing for fencing. And this was from Home Depot. And I had a bunch of this laying around uh, because I built some fences and had some leftover. So on the end of the pipe, I just drilled a hole and put a bolt through. I put a spring to keep a little tension on this uh, pipe here. And I'll just show you how it can raise up and down fairly easily. So the head on the jib here or it, this is just a temporary hookup for now, I've just used an old tripod. And the tripod then just swings here on the end and this will keep it level. Gravity will then keep this tripod level as it goes up. So you can see that it can move. And you can adjust it with the adjustments on the tripod. So if you want to uh, pan down and go up at the same time, you can adjust that. So for small adjustments, you can just do that here. Also, I can rotate it and then I can go up. So I'm just gonna put the camera onto the tripod and then show you how this thing works. You just do your adjustments to the tripod before using the jib and sort of level it out. And then I can just raise up the boom. The more steady you raise the boom, the better the video is going to be. Quality of the
So I've just hung the weight off the back now and it just sort of hovers there. So now you can just move this thing around really easily from the back or you can go up to farther up the boom here and then you can hold on to it like here and then you can just move your camera around really nice and steady. Um, you can do full 360s uh, with the camera. So, and it works okay for a cheap homemade uh, jib. And the thing can just, it actually now is just going on its own. There it goes. Now I'm probably going to do some improvements to this, maybe add some weights here that I can slide back and forth to adjust the boom height. And also I may work on the head where I can then mechanically or electrically adjust the camera angles. Well, that was just a look at my homemade jib and thank you for watching.